break on camera. Y'all. Uh-uh, Rihanna. Not after I just said this was $40 and it break. It's not that I don't want you here. It's something about the way you stare. What's up, you guys? This is your girl Kira J. If you're new to the channel, hey, if you're new to the channel, hey, hey, hey. And today, you guys, we are back with another video because I'm trying to be more consistent. I'm trying to get more content out to you. And because Vlogmas is coming up, we're back with the bangers every week and for Vlogmas every day a week. I was supposed to tell you guys every day out the week. I was supposed to tell you guys I'm doing Vlogmas, but I'm doing Vlogmas. Anyway, today we're not here to discuss that. Today we're here to go ahead and do a What's in My Bag. But what's so special about this What's in My Bag is this is actually a collab. Yes, you guys, this is like my second collab. But like I really feel like my first real collab on my channel and I'm super excited about it. So before I even get into my collab, make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Make sure you have like my recent video, which was the unboxing of my Marc Jacobs bag because as you guys can kind of already guess, I'm kind of like showing you a what's in my bag to the Marc Jacobs. You, but you knew this though. But anyway, today you guys, I will be collabing with Leslie Dior. And I already have her up on my iPad because I actually want to make sure you guys get the picture. We should be subscribing to her. She's a small YouTuber. She is amazing. I love her content. <music> So without further ado, there she go. There she go. Okay, first of all, let me tell you what inspired me to do the what's in the bag. I love this type of content. Um, I love watching what's in my bag um, videos. Before I started a YouTube channel, I always watched the girls do unboxings of their purses and then come back maybe a month later and show what's in their bag. Honestly, you guys. This helps me know if I want a bag because I want to know what you can feel in there. Not saying that I fill up a lot of stuff, but as y'all can probably see, I have a good amount of things in this bag. I do. <laughs> like, literally, it's kind of on a slight heavy. But let's just go ahead and get into it. So, normally, you guys, my iPad is out, but normally my iPad would definitely be in my bag. So, I'm just going to act like I'm reaching and getting it out because I would definitely have my um ipad in my bag for various reasons um if i am traveling home to visit my parents my ipad would definitely be in this bag because basically i'm going to be staying at night somewhere it just depends on where i'm going but most times my ipad is always with me especially because if my phone dies i can always contact someone with my ipad so it's a must that i always put that in my bag like i can't go without it and i hate how like close i am because i feel like you guys really can't see the bag but last time i feel like i was super far away i'm so sorry we're gonna work through it we're gonna be good okay the bag is in my lap and you guys can see me pulling things out we already know what the bag consists of and then secondly i have my cell phone so like i said it's just this case that i got from tj maxx nothing fancy but like i said so if my ipad is my if this is dead i'm on the ipad but for the majority of the part i am on my phone and as y'all can see my percentage by you can already get why i'm saying the ipad is always with me because for the most part, my phone consistently stays dead. So, and then, you know, just because I just landed off that, I have my fast charger. This actually came, I actually just had to go buy another one because I broke it. But this is, I got this, I have the iPhone XR, so if you're wondering, how do you have a fast charger? Um, this literally came with my iPad because um, the iPad has a stronger battery, so it does need a not a faster charger because this basically charges my iPad at the same speed it, a regular charger would charge my phone but this gets the job done for my phone like I can plug this in for example let's say that I'm at the mall but my phone's about to die I can sit in one of a charger station and use this for about 10 minutes and my phone could be on 50% and it can get me to where I'm going I'm able to contact people if something happens so I always keep this with me the second thing I have is my mask because you know this is a Leo mask so I'm so happy that I have this I went home to Memphis this past weekend and my mom bought this she bought me a leo mask um it's just a plain mask but it has leo on there with my sign so i'm happy that i have this now to show you guys because this matches my um my what's in my bag perfectly because i'm a leo you guys i love my zodiac sign i take pride in my zodiac sign so this is it it's just simple really cute so yeah when i'm somewhere i just go ahead and pop that on pop it off period then i have my brush because you need to make sure your hair stays combed 
if you are a wig girl you know what i'm saying so i have a brush don't mind how it looks my dog has bit all up on the brush speaking of him, he's right here but yes i always keep a brush with me just in case my hair is not done even if i have braids i just keep the brush in my purse because if i take it out i feel like one day i'll go out and be like Mm, I need to brush my hair and then the brush is not in there and then it's this big old oh my god I look, it's just a lot so I just always keep my brush with me even with braids I just don't even take it out of any of my purses and I switch bags a lot to you guys but this brush if I'm switching a bag the brush is coming with me secondly I have some gum <laughs> I don't know if they show this in the what's in my bag but I do have some gum I have some trident I love trident gum I love flavor gum I know a lot of people like me I like flavor gum because I like candy so all right and then i have my fenty skin is it showing y'all it better then i have my fenty skin lotion this is the um butter skin butter drop butter cream oh my god it's whipped too you guys let me just show you if you guys don't have this this is what i'm going to show you i've been using a lot of it but look at the consistency i love this i actually need to get the travel size to actually go on my purse but i have not purchased it this was 40 dollars, by the way so i don't have the travel size yet even though i should definitely did this just break on camera y'all uh-uh rihanna not after i just said this was 40 dollars and it break that just made me mad y'all oh my god what anyway back to the video I have my keys on me. I went and just threw these in my bag because, yeah, I feel like I need to be showing my keys. So, I have my keys with me just so, you know, I'm always, I like driving myself around because I like to leave and I'm ready to leave. So, my keys are always somewhere in my purse. All right. Then, I always have a hair clip. I know I showed you guys the, yeah. I always have a hair clip, too, only because um let's say i don't even know why i have a hair clip i just feel like if my hair is in my face and i'm driving i can always just clip it to the side all right and then secondly before i'm just gonna go into my pouch so then i have my pouch this is my notorious pouch that i feel like i've talked about in numerous youtube videos regarding like how i keep up with items in my bag and how i get them not to spill in the bag okay so in this pouch are just some goodies so as y'all can see the first one is hand sanitizer um, I really don't even want to show you guys the hand sanitizer because I recently used it all. But so I need to go buy like so instead of just buying like small hand sanitizers, buy the big one and just fill the big one to your small ones. So I haven't had a chance to do that yet, but this is my hand sanitizer. Um, it just has my college on there. It says I'm true blue. So I'm not even just gonna put that to the side because I need to fill that back up. Okay, so I have that. Then I have y'all my girl by NYX butter gloss. I truly love fortune cookie. Like, I truly love Fortune Cookie. It is amazing. I'm trying to get as much on there as I, as possible. Fortune Cookie is literally amazing. Like, this is probably the best lip butter gloss that, to, in my opinion, that NYX has made. Because it's like a pinkish, but like glossy. Yeah, but go get it. If you don't have butter, uh, Fortune Cookie butter gloss, you definitely need to go get it because I love it. All right, secondly, then I just have some two plain lip glosses. Um, I'm not even sure who they are by. They're just plain lip glosses that I have and that I love to use. This one is orange. It doesn't have like a smell to it. So I recently started using this one, which is what I have on my lips on top of the butter gloss. But yeah, and this one is not, this one is not as glossy, which I don't like that, but this one is super glossy. All right, and then lastly, what I have in my little black pouch that was in my little Mark Jacobs bag is the Burberry Her Perfume. Y'all, y'all know I love, I don't, do y'all know that I love this? If you don't, I really do love this. Like, I'm spraying it on me now. <laughs> no, for real, y'all. This is where it's at. I love this perfume. So, this is the travel size one because I got it in a kit. So, I have the travel size and the big one. But I only been using my travel size one. But I'm going to start using my big one so I can keep this in my purse. But this is the travel size one. And you guys, it travels with me everywhere. I truly love this perfume. I feel like this is the best perfume, the, the best luxury perfume I've ever had. I don't think nothing tops this. It smells like so good. The smell lasts is like almost forever. Like it's so springy. It's just it describes if I could be a perfume, I would be this perfume. So 
Okay. Yeah. Okay, and then last but not least, we have one last thing inside of our Marc Jacobs tote, and that will be my sunglasses. So I don't think I ever unboxed this for you guys. I probably should have, but I never did. But these are my sunglasses. Let's go ahead and get into it. So when you open it up, and I keep the whole box in there, um, just because I haven't really worn them that much. I probably do need to take it out the box, but I like to keep the box because it comes with all the cleaning supplies and stuff, so I just keep it. So, yeah, and it's just easy to throw in there. Okay, so then this is the case. And these are the shades. You guys, these are, this is my first pair of luxury shades. My only pair, too. I have not bought another one. I've been completely obsessed with these. Oh, my God. They are so gorgeous. And they have them in different colors, but I got the brown just so it can match. Like a lot of my bags are brown. Like this one is tan. And then, you know, my other bags are brown. So I went ahead and got the brown one. So, yes, I keep this in my purse because whenever the sun comes out, I love to put them on to get my wear because they weren't cheap. Um, so, yeah, so that is. I feel like y'all like, girl, so where are your cards and stuff? Don't judge me. I do not keep a wallet inside of my bag for a lot of reasons. If I pull my wallet out, get something out of it, I might sit it on a counter and I'm going to leave it. I've, I've done it before. Because uh, I'm keeping up with a purse. And then I'm also having to keep up with a wallet. I don't know why I can't get that under control, but I can't. I sit my wallets down and be like, oh my God, where's my wallet? And have to go back somewhere and go get it. So because this has pouches, I really just keep my list of cards in that little pouch. I'm not going to show you because the cards are all over the place. They're not organized right now. But I put my ID, my Sam's card, my debit card, all that stuff. Um, even like, um, like my cards for like Instacart and stuff. They're all in here. Just because they travel, wherever purse I'm at, my purses are going to have a pouch like this. This little pouch that I'm talking about, they're going to have this inside of the bag. So I just keep them in there and I unzip them and zip them. And that way I know I can keep up with my cards better because I know that they're in this bag and I don't have this whole other item I have to keep up with. But I promise you guys, I'm going to work on getting better with not losing wallets, but I do. I lose them all the time. It's, if I don't lose them, if I don't have a purse. If I just have a wallet, I remember to pick up my wallet because that's my purse for the day. But when I have a purse and a wallet, I oftentimes just pick up the purse because I see it and I'll be like, where's my wallet? And it'll be on somebody's counter or at the front desk at a register. So, yeah, I'm just doing it this way for now up until I just get like a tad bit more responsible with my wallets. Especially because I'm assuming that I'm going to want to buy like Marc Jacobs wallets if he sells them. Or like MCM wallets. And I don't want to lose those. So, I just need to take a minute and yeah. But I love my coach wallet. I have a coach wallet. It's a wristlet. I do not lose that one at all because it stays on my wrist. But anyway, you guys, that wraps up this video. Um... You should have already saw the inserted clip from Leslie, yes. And I hope you guys enjoyed her. Um, if you clicked off my video to go watch her video, and now you're back watching mine, thank you so much for doing both. Because I do want you guys to definitely check out her channel and definitely watch what's in her bag. Just to see if we like have a difference or if we have the same things in our bag. This is very different for me. I'm sorry, you guys. This is very different for me. I've never really like don't know what's in my bag thing i don't even know if i did it right i watched a few this is just what's in my bag i didn't want to unrealistically put anything in my bag that's not in there everything that i mentioned these are items that are in my bag i don't want to go get a first aid kit and throw it in my bag just to say i put something in my bag for my youtube video i want this to be completely honest and realistic because to be honest especially if you're like me and you you switch your bags religiously you're known to just forget something so these are my main items that when i switch my bags i don't forget these are the items that i have to have in my bag regardless of what bag i will leave other items in the bag but make sure i grab these items and these are it and they also all fit inside of my mini tote bag without a issue at all and i'm in love but thank you guys so much for tuning into this video thank you guys for tuning in to watching leslie Dior's video i'm so happy to have you guys subscribe to my channel i hope you guys went ahead and subscribe to her channel as well and if you are leslie d or a subscriber and you're coming to look at me hey make sure you stay around kick off your shoes relax your feet and get comfortable um but yeah that wraps up this video you guys thank you guys so much again make sure to subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in the next video